SABC COO that is how you training on stage. He gave Mandoza a platform 90% 90% transformation to the exit man. Thank you, SABC. Thank you, SABC. Thank you, Tate Saudi. The musicians and artists are here. Thank you, SABC. Has shown their love to us. No need to cry no more. Thank you very much. All artists, whether it's Brenda Fass, if she was here, Miriam Makeba, all of us, are very proud. It took us 22 years to get a play in 90% in South Africa yet. We got our democracy in 1994. Thank you to Mr. Fudad Wachawuke. number which. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Program Director. I can see bishops, pastors. I don't know whether I'm one of the pastors. It is a sad day. It is a wonderful day. Because today we are saying goodbye to Galagat. I was with him on Saturday and the family. I was called by Kevin and he was saying to me, Nkalagata, he's saying to me, I want to talk to Saudi. I said to Kevin, I'm not available. I'm going to be available on Tuesday. And Kevin called Zueli, I work with Zueli, and Zueli said to me, Mr. Moswening, they want you. I went to see my daughter in the free state. I was supposed to stay for a weekend. I decided to come and engage in Galagata, not knowing by meeting him, he was saying to me, goodbye. When I was there with the family, and I don't know Galagata, I know the song Galagata. The songs that unite for the first time South Africans, black and white. Those people who go to the Shebins, they know Galagat, black and white. Everyone was dancing when you play that song. I want to tell South Africans, we need to be proud about ourselves. We need to love our own artists. You can't love artist from outside the country when you have a, your own artist in this country. Hallelujah. I want to tell South Africans today it is very important for us as South Africans to unite especially the artist because after introducing 90%, there is divisions among the legends and the coming artists. And I'm saying to you, for the sake of Mendoza, you need unity. Because if you are not united, we won't be able to win this battle of transforming South Africa. 
You know, when people talk about transformation, they speak English. I don't speak English. I speak implementation. You know, there is difference between speaking English and intelligence. Some of us, intelligence is in our blood. The reason why we are able to do what we are doing because we are unique. I listen to people and I have been observing when people were saying, cloud is out. You can't decide for my future. I will decide for my future. And let me tell you, if I leave the SABC, it will not be the first time. I left the SABC, I became back stronger and stronger. I hear people saying, Saudi stress, Saudi is stress free. I don't know stress because if I have stress, I won't be able to deliver what I want to deliver for the South Africans. So I don't know stress. I don't have stress. Maybe you are stressed yourself because Saudi is delivering. And I want to say to you, South Africans, we can't discuss transformation after 20 years. Actually, who's the problem in South Africa? The problem is black people. And I'm going to demonstrate you why I'm saying black people. If you ask black people, they complain about transformation, but they are in charge for this transformation. How do you complain about yourself? You know, South Africans, you don't realize that God has given you unique talent as Africans. When I joined SABC, I said to the team of the SABC, you always go abroad. Why are you going abroad? The answer was, we are going to benchmark with other countries. And I said to them, I'm stopping this, all these trips abroad. I want those countries to come and use South Africa as a benchmark. You know, you can't copy other countries. You need to be unique. Because God has given you talent, you need to have vision. So we and others in this country, we are prepared to die and deliver what we need to deliver. When it comes to the SABC, very interesting. When we introduced 90%, and I'm not apologetic about it. I introduced it, I took decision about it. I hear some people are saying, no, we have been talking about uh, 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 this 90%, uh, uh, I don't know, they have never talked to me. I introduced 90%. And I'm going to tell you why I introduced 90%. Eugene Mtetwa, Yvonne Chaka Chaka, Mzwa Kembuli, Don Lag, and many others, they came and approached me to say, hey, siya fain dalala, slambi iletina. And I want to tell you today, by introducing 90%, we have insured. This is the insurance of artists. They will never die poor. And this insurance that I'm referring to, the family, they are insured because 90% will play in the SABC. Which means when we play 90%, they get their own royalties. Mendoza is no more 
But Mendoza, that song and other song, SABC will play those songs. Whether Saudi is there or Saudi is not there, that song will play in the SABC. Because people don't understand that SABC we have been paying more money outside the country, ignoring our own artists in South Africa. Which means we have been causing poverty for them. Now we have changed. It is a new SABC with new leadership within the organization. But I'm also aware that some of recording companies and some of artists, they have been paying bribe. And I'm appealing to all of you, don't pay bribe at the SABC. We are there to serve the country. We don't need your money. Because if you take your... If we take money from you, you are not going to be able to look after your family. Mzwake, just give me three minutes, my brother. This is 90%. Because I want to say to you, especially artists, produce quality music. Because some people, they don't believe that South African can produce long and lasting music. And I believe that if we give you opportunity, you will do exactly that. You will produce quality music. For the first time, I was called by two presidents in Africa, I'm not going to mention their names. I'm going to meet them because they said to me, Saudi, now we want to use South Africa as benchmark because we want to introduce 90% in our countries. What is more important in life? You know, I have my own belief and my belief is unique. And I believe that there is a reason, because I have been given so many names. It's 90%, 90-10. The latest one that I have been uh, 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 observing is Cloud is an ordinary employer. Let me tell you, when I was born, I was an ordinary Saudi. And I'm going to make sure that ordinary employer delivers because I don't need to be COO to deliver. I'm going to deliver. It doesn't matter which position I occupy. And I have been delivering. You know what is good about me? And I'm not boosting. When SABC uh, uh, dismissed me, it's because I was empowering workers at the SABC. And I did die for that. For the first time in the SABC, those dramas and soapies, those people, SABC, were not paying them as workers. I'm the first person to say, you can't do this. These are workers. I did deliver. It's just that Abu Mzwake, because they sing, music is powerful. They have occupied the space. But we have been delivering at the SABC. Please pay your TV license. <laughs> 